Hey guys, this will be the second video in a three video trial run mini series where I will be sharing some weekly thoughts of mine um, at the end of every week where my first video was actually not filmed until Tuesday, but this one is being filmed on Sunday, October 27th, 2019. And I will be giving you guys one more video next Sunday on November 3rd, 2019, guaranteed. And then if I find that this video series is well received by you guys, uh, then I will likely adopt this series or this weekly video segment on a full-time basis because I honestly really like the idea of being able to guarantee you guys at least one video a week. So... Um, obviously, I just want to make it clear that I'm not going to be able to necessarily guarantee that I will be doing it every single Sunday, but the thing is, is I will definitely do my best, and if this is something that is well-received and you guys really like it, then, you know, why not? I really like the idea, especially if I'm really busy with work and life in general, that I can sit down on a Sunday night and give you guys at least a video every week and I actually think that a lot of you guys would probably really like the idea of knowing that hey every Sunday night Roxilla is gonna film a new video and have it up I, and you know what that is consistency and I think that's the type of thing that I would like to add to this channel going forward but I'm still gonna do this video and the next video and if if I find it's well received then I'm probably going to adopt it on a full-time basis. And by the way, thank you, Jeremy, for your endorsement of this idea. Um, I am actually looking... It's actually looking like I'm probably going to adopt this full-time, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not, I'm not going to guarantee that I adopt it full-time just yet, because I want to see how this video and next week's video are received by you guys before I make the call on my end but um but anyways what this will be if i do adopt this full time is it'll just be a segment where it'll be mostly podcast style videos and i just want to let you guys know that this video will have no visuals so by all means if you've got something you want to do on the side uh feel free to just put this on and do whatever you're doing because there's going to be nothing to see in this video it's just going to be a black screen where i just talk so that, that leads me to another thing. Um, if I do adopt this permanently, will there be times where there are visuals? Possibly. I, I'm sure there will be, and I will let you guys know whether it's in this weekly video, if I adopt it full-time, whether it will be a visual-filled video or not. So this one will be a podcast, and if I do adopt this permanently, these videos, for the most part, will most likely be podcast style because I think that's a lot easier than gathering a zillion different photos per video. So, and then that way I can just put my phone down and talk. It's a lot easier and it increases the likelihood that I'll actually be able to get a video done every week, which will be my goal if I get this adopted Fold on a full-time permanent basis. So... For the first video that I did, as I said earlier, I did not get it done until this past Tuesday. So what I ended up talking about in that video is, is I talked about some NFL rule changes that I would like to see. I also talked about the Ravens and Seahawks uniforms where I think that the Ravens need to change their number font on their jerseys and I also would like to see them get rid of the metallic gold accents and also take the B out of their logo. I think that they should clean up their logo, and truth is, I actually think that their logo would look better if it was black rather than purple, which I'm not sure that everyone will agree with me on that, and that's totally understandable, but I think it would look a lot better if it was just black and was a proper raven instead of a purple raven with a capital B inside it. I, I think it's a bit busy, and I'd like to see that cleaned up. I'd also like to see their number fonts cleaned up and go with more of a block font. Or at the bare minimum, get rid of the metallic gold. My goodness, it looks bad. And that has not aged well whatsoever, in my opinion. So, on the other side of the coin, the Seahawks, I talked about the fact that 
for a team with such modernized uniforms, I actually don't mind them. I mean, would I... Do I prefer them over their original royal blue and Kelly green uniforms? Hell no. But you know what? I don't mind them. Their wolf gray alternates are not bad. I actually like their action green jersey. If they could just wear it with their navy blue pants, it would be a great uniform in my opinion to see for one game a year. But this monochrome action green morph suit look is not good. The jersey's c cool, in my opinion, because it's something that nobody else does in the NFL. Only the Seahawks have ever had an action green jersey. So, for them to wear that for one game a year, I'm all for it. I'm just not for the one-piece neon green morph suit look that they've been forced to wear since they brought out their color rash uniform. And the thing is, is that, you know... I, if I didn't mention it in my last video, which in in this weekly segment series, um, which is also the last video I've uploaded on my channel as I'm filming this, um, if I didn't say it there, I'll, I will say it here just for the hell of it. Uh, but according to legend, the Seahawks won their Thursday night game this season against the Rams because the kicker was blinded by the bright, bright action green uniforms that the Seahawks were happening to wear that night. By the way, that legend was just made up by me. But anyways, I just said that for the hell of it. Man, you know what? I would laugh if it was actually true. It might be. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure it was just a case of the kicker missing the kick, which, you know, that always sucks when you miss a game winning anything. So if you're the if you were the kicker in that case, well, it's a case where it sucks to be you, I guess. That's the best way for me to put it. But yeah, so what I do in these weekly videos, and sorry for taking so long to get into the subject, is is I basically take a roundup of everything over a week period and just share some thoughts on it. So sorry for taking such a long time to introduce this, but my last video, though, i got to be honest, it really pissed me off. I filmed it the first time. It uploaded successfully. Then I noticed on my phone, on the app, that I it, there was one version of the video that said error, up, failed to upload, and the second version with it being successfully filmed and uploaded. I thought that it decided maybe it got an update to the app where it took the video and uploaded it a second time where it had a successful upload and had it, two of them on there. So I deleted the one that failed, and it deleted the one that succeeded to upload. And that really pissed me off. And then that same night, I had to film the whole video again. So I'm really hoping that that video can at least get 25 views, considering that I spent a good two hours getting that video put together and actually finally uploaded the second time around that I had to film and upload the damn thing. But anyways, for this video today... And once again, I'm very sorry about how long it's taken me to get into the in, into the actual video itself. And next week, I will make sure that I take a lot less time to get into the actual meat of what I'm going to be talking about. But this week, I want to rant on the amount of monochromatic uniforms beyond, and not just Color Rush, but in general, that I've been seeing in the NFL. Also, I want to touch base on the World Series a little bit. And I also definitely want to discuss and acknowledge the Heritage Classic last night because I thought it was awesome. So let's start with the NFL. I saw last week that the Saints brought in a new plain white pant option for their regular uniforms. So last week, the Saints decided to wear a one-piece all-white morph suit. And now this week... According to my memory, they're wearing their regular black morph suits at home. I am sick of the Saints and their monochromatic home and away uniforms. I'm sick of the jerseys too. I'm sick of them. It's time for the Saints to go full-time retro. This is ridiculous. The Saints know that the fans love the 67 color rush uniform. The only thing that sucks about it is, is that they cannot wear contrasting socks. Thanks, NFL. You guys are just 
full of great ideas, aren't ya? Yeah, let's get rid of the one helmet rule. Or, I mean, let's get rid of the beautiful throwback uniforms we got to see all across the NFL. Let's bring in additional uniforms and force the teams to wear one-piece morph suits. Thanks, Nike. Thanks, NFL. Jesus Christ. But the Saints, they... I mean, it's like they're... Their uniforms look like they're wearing yoga pants. Their black pants are horrible. They don't even have they don't even have the the intelligence to at least put a gold stripe on the sides of their pants. I mean, I could live with all black if they had a gold stripe on the sides of their bloody pants. But no, we got to wear black tights or yoga pants that or that look like yoga pants. And then last week, they wore monochrome white with their regular away uniform. And they wore what looked like white yoga pants. I mean, for Christ's sake, New Orleans, I'm sick of this crap. It's garbage. Their current home and away jerseys, I want to see them go. The Saints need to go full-time retro. Their color rush jersey is gorgeous. Their 67 black throwback jersey and uniform that actually comes with gold pants that they wore two or three years ago, they need to wear that at home full time and wear the white color rush jersey with gold pants or at the bare minimum contrasting socks on a full time basis as their away uniform. And they need to make the helmet gold match the uniform's gold. And on top of that, which, by the way, I recently have only learned in the past month or so that the Saints actually had a gold alternate jersey back in the early 2000s. Imagine if they went full-time retro and had a gold jersey that matched the white and black 67 throwback jerseys. Would that not be a gorgeous alternate uniform? Imagine that with black pants that had some striping on the sides. Now that would be a beautiful trio of uniforms. Some of the best in the NFL as far as I'm concerned. That would be amazing. I, I just... I am just so... Uh, just baffled at the Saints dis uniform decisions. They're a away jersey. I'm sick of the black numbers. Why not own the gold? You're black and gold. That's what makes the Saints' identity so damn cool. Black and gold. Own the gold. It's a great color if used properly. Jesus Christ. The Saints just annoy the hell out of me. They annoy the hell out of me. I am sick of the monochrome. It's bloody awful. It's just bad. These morph suits that the Saints wear, are I'm sick of them. They gotta go. They need to go full-time retro, like right now. It's ridiculous. Now, this has also been the second week in a row that the Buffalo Bills have decided to wear one-piece morph suits. <laughs> Last week, they wore their red color rash uniform. This week, they decided to turn their regular home jersey into a one-piece blue Power Ranger morph suit outfit for their game today. Well, hopefully that loss to the Eagles will convince you to stop wearing blue pants with your blue jersey. It's not good. I don't give a damn that college football does this stuff. Nobody should do this stuff. It looks bad. The NFL, once upon a time, used to be a league where teams would wear contrasting elements. That's what made uniforms great. That's why you go and look at old footage from the 70s, the 80s, and even the early to mid-1990s, and you see so many teams with such nice-looking uniforms. Now you just, you see, you could tune on to an Indianapolis Colts game like the one today and see the Colts, who have some of the best jerseys in football or in the entire NFL as well, wearing monochrome royal blue. Great. 
Now, if you love these one-piece jumpsuits, I mean, all the power to you. I mean, if, as long as the Colts and even the Bills don't do it all the time, I guess once in a blue moon, it's not the end of the world. But do I want to see the Colts wearing monochrome blue? No. Do I want to see the Giants, or in, and in this case, the Bills wearing monochrome blue? No. Hell no. I mean, monochrome navy blue is tolerable. Because it's a dark color. But a bright color like royal blue or red, like the Bills have forced on us for the second week in a row, no thank you. Wear your white pants with your red jersey and your blue jersey. And you know what it pisses me off about their color rash uniform? Yeah, it looks like a great big red rash. Or a red leotard or whatever the hell you want to call it. If that uniform was with their regular white pants, it would be a phenomenal alternate uniform. Their home jersey is a very nice jersey, a nice traditional design. But when you wear it with royal blue pants, I don't want to see college football crap. And in fact, college football teams need to get their heads out of their butts and realize that this monochrome business is not good. It annoys me when teams with really nice uniforms like the Packers and the Chiefs wear monochrome uniforms. I don't like the Packers in jersey to shoe white or jersey to toe. And I certainly don't care for the Chiefs wearing monochromatic red either. And that's and there's a little thing too I want to touch base on about the Packers though. If the Packers could just wear contrasting socks one game a year wearing white jerseys with uh, their white jersey with white pants at home in my opinion actually doesn't look too bad. But when you're not wearing contrasting socks it's not a good look. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Now, another thing about the Packers uniforms that I really want to touch base on, and somebody mentioned it, I believe, I can't remember where I read it, but they made a wonderful point. And this is something I'm adding the Chiefs to in this little discussion point. In the Green Bay Packers case, notice how the stripes on the pants are connected and there's no gold or yellow in between the stripes. But on the stripes on the sleeves of their jersey, on the away jersey, it goes dark green with a thin white stripe, then yellow or gold, slash gold, another thin white stripe, and then green. And then on the pants, it's their bright golden yellow with dark green, white, green, white, green. Get rid of those thin white stripes out of the sleeves of your jerseys and make them green gold green to match the pants it would actually look way better and by the way i actually would like to see them make that fix to the collars of the packers jerseys as well and on top of that notice how the uh, new orleans saints can have all of the striping on their color rush jersey on the sleeves and the Dolphins do it with their throwbacks. And by the way, I love their white throwback uniform, and I hear they're wearing it tomorrow against the Steelers. Great. Now, why can't the Packers put those additional stripes that they took off of their jerseys back in the 1990s on their jerseys again? You know, I look, I've seen some old photos of the Packers back in the early to mid-1990s where they had the additional stripes on the sleeves of their jersey. Honestly, I love their jerseys the way they are, but I think they should bring back the old striping. I agree with people 100% that that should come back. I'm tired of... You know, little things about the Packers uniforms that with a little bit of cleanup could make them even better. And I say that as somebody who thinks the Packers have some of the best jerseys in football and in the NFL for sure. But I don't like how there's a bit of white space on the away jersey between the stripes inside the striping and dark green 
space in between the striping on the sleeves of their home jersey. Like, just make the striping on the jerseys, on the sleeves of the jerseys, and it's, and for the collars, match the pants, and that would be perfect. And if they could add the additional pair of stripes too, I think that would be an improvement as well. Even though, as I, I can't say it enough, I love the Packers uniforms. Now, speaking of teams that whose uniforms I love, the Chiefs. Notice the striping on the sleeves of the Chiefs jerseys. On the red jersey, it's white, gold, white. On the home, or sorry, on the away jersey, it's red, gold, red. And you know, but look at their pants striping. Why does their pants striping have all that red space in, or white space on the away jersey pants or on the white pants? Sorry, why aren't so? Okay, how do I explain this? Okay. The Green Bay Packers pants striping should, or the jersey and collar striping on the Packers jerseys should match their pants. Where the Chiefs pants striping should match the striping on the sleeves of the Chiefs jerseys. Those two changes that both of those teams could make would be huge improvements. I don't like the striping on the Chiefs' pants. And I don't like the little bit of spacing between the stripes on the Packers' stripes on their sleeves and on their collars. They should be solid like their pants. And on the Chiefs' pants, the striping should be all one piece like their striping on the sleeves of their jerseys and honestly it's those two teams could make those small fixes and they would make the a world of a difference so you know i've seen all these monochrome uniforms and another one too the the patriots their color rush jersey is awesome in my opinion why can't they wear it with their regular silver pants that would be a perfect alternate as far as i'm concerned and with this color rush program being no longer a Thursday night thing. Why are teams still required to wear one-piece morph suits whenever they throw out a color rush jersey? I mean, I actually feel that the color rush program is something that Nike did a really good job with. And the NFL. That is one thing about Nike that I've been impressed with, is the color rush jerseys overall. We've had a lot of good uniforms. We've seen some great throwbacks. The Saints one is the best of all, in my opinion. And you've had some really cool alternate designs, such as the Broncos jersey, which needs to be their main jersey, with a matching away and contrasting navy blue pants. Another one that's really great, too, is the Giants jersey, which should be their full-time home and away jersey set again. And the Giants word marks should be on their helmets again, in my opinion. And you got other teams, like the Rams, where with contrasting blue pants is a perfect alternate if they go full-time retro, which they should. They should not plan on updating the classic royal blue and gold jerseys. They should take the one they've gone back to as their home jersey, keep it, and bring back the original white jersey to go with it. With the color rush jersey as the alternate, but with contrasting blue pants. <laughs> there would be another trio of jerseys that would be marvelous, in my opinion. Even Seattle, the action green jersey would actually look, in my opinion, pretty cool once a year with navy blue pants. The action green Power Ranger morph suit look is not a good look. It never has been, it never will be, and it's really bad on the eyes. Other uniforms I can think of that are actually really, from the color rush off the top of my head, that were really good, well... The Chargers Royal Blue jersey was pretty good, but the one-piece jumpsuit is not. Um, another one, ah, I, I'm having trouble because I'm recalling them off the top of my head, eh? So, you know, even the Jets jersey itself was not too bad. I liked the jersey. I just hated the one-piece Kelly Green jumpsuit. 
the Detroit Lions black color rush jersey would have been a nice alternate jersey to wear instead of that gray one for a color rush uniform if they're forced to wear it. I still think they should have wore it, worn it for one game. I mean, do I think the Lions should have black? A black jersey? No. Just I feel the same way about the Jets now in 2019. But, you know, if you've if they're forcing everybody to do the color rash thing, or I know it's the color rush, but I call it the rash because I'm sick of these monochromatic uniforms, you know, that would have been one to see at least once. Especially when they were selling it online as their color rush jersey, and I'm sure somebody somewhere bought that thinking they, the Lions were going to wear it. But, yeah, I mean, overall, I mean... <clears throat> the color rush jerseys overall, with some exceptions like Baltimore, and even in my opinion, the Vikings, which when I saw their color rush uniform against the Redskins this past Thursday, I actually thought that overall it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It actually looked kind of okay for a game, but still, I can't do monochrome purple. It's not cool. I mean, the yellow numbers on the jersey was actually quite nice. It reminded me of the Los Angeles Kings, actually, in a good way. But the one-piece purple jumpsuit is not a look that I care for at all. Um, but yeah, I just in the NFL overall, I'm just getting so sick of these monochromatic looks. Even the Eagles wore monochrome white today. It was not good. Not good at all. Like, at least if you... Just wear contrasting socks, and then monochrome white is totally cool. Monochrome white I like, but just wear contrasting socks. Have a proper uniform. And speaking of proper uniforms, I thought it was nice to see the Falcons wearing their throwbacks today. Um, they're very plain and simple, but you know what? I'm glad that they pull them out now and then. It's a nice uniform. Even, and, you know... I do wish they could wear their red helmets that they wore with that uniform. But under the circumstances, they've done a great job. I'd rather see them wear it with a black helmet than not wear it at all. It's nice to see once in a while. But yeah, so I talked about the NFL. <clears throat> My throat's getting a little bit dry on me here, so I'm going to try and wrap this up relatively soon, but... The next team I want to talk about is now the World Series uniforms, so, and one team in particular. But the Astros uniforms are actually really quite impressive in my opinion. I like how they're simple, and I like the colors. I actually feel that the, the Astros have done a great job with their uniforms. The only thing I would like to see them change, even though it's not a deal breaker for me at all, is the beveled star. I liked it better when it was just a plain star. But it's a very small, small nitpick on my end. And another thing too, I don't like how so many Major League Baseball teams now have Roundel logos. Just be the H and star. No Roundel. But the one team I really want to talk about regarding the World Series is the Nationals. I've made, if I haven't said it enough already, I am really getting annoyed with how many teams have navy blue jerseys in Major League Baseball. Ironically, in my opinion, the Nationals navy blue jersey is actually quite nice. I've been very impressed by it. And you know what? I didn't think I'd be complimenting a team's navy blue jersey in Major League Baseball. But the Nationals navy blue jersey, I think it's a keeper. I like it. Personally, I really, really like it. So, it is very, very rare that I compliment a bl navy blue jersey, but that one is worthy of a compliment as far as I'm concerned. And another thing, too, I want to go and touch base on the Heritage Classic last night. I thought it was so cool that Regina, Saskatchewan hosted an outdoor NHL game. Saskatchewan is a very, very, very cold part of Canada. It's part of the prairies. It's the heart of the prairies. And it's, I must say, that is so cool that they did that. I'm so glad that the NHL gave 
Saskatchewan a hockey game, an outdoor game. That was so cool. Um, I loved seeing the Flames throwbacks. That uniform needs to be their away uniform right now. If they make the playoffs this year, I'm going to call it. The Flames are going to just wear their retro uniforms, even the Heritage Classic one. I think they're going to do it. And if they and if they go back to those full time, holy crap, that would be a wonderful move. Imagine that and the Sabres going back to Royal Blue next season. Well, this coming off season could end up being a very, very, very great off season for us Jersey nerds out there. And hopefully it comes with a new Addy Zero or a new Adidas jersey template with a fixed collar. Preferably the edge style collar. That was the best collar that we've had. Even with the NHL logo on the collars, I did not mind it. I thought the Reebok collars were excellent. Those need to come back. The Adidas ones need to be burnt into oblivion. They need to be scrapped. And those Jets jerseys. You know, for the Heritage Classic, they were okay. But I did not like the red on navy blue captaincy patches. They should have either been white or they should have had white outlines. And their logo desperately needed a white outline as well. What I would have done is I would have had them wear it in royal blue. Like they did back in the late 70s when they won the last WHA AVCO World Trophy. Which, And I know that the at one point their blue jersey had a white shoulder yoke. Well, considering that the Jets elected to go with the new navy blue instead of royal blue, and, it, and you know, for the Jets to wear royal blue jerseys now when they wore their white WHA throwbacks three years ago with navy blue instead of royal blue, them wearing royal blue for this jersey and uniform now would have been a little bit odd. But you know what? In terms of contrast, I actually think that the Jets missed an opportunity. They should have brought it out with a white shoulder yoke, in my opinion. Or, at the bare minimum, had white captaincy patches and white trim around their logo. They needed something more to make it brighter. And I feel that the Jets kind of crapped the bed on their Heritage Classic uniform. And I will share more thoughts on that when I do an actual video on the uniforms, eh? But that is, some, <clears throat> that is something that really disappointed me. I didn't like how the jersey was so, so damn dark. Now, is it a nice jersey? Yes. But was it a great jersey choice? No. I, I feel that the Jets could have made a couple of tweaks to it to make it better. Like, number one, white captaincy patches that contrast properly on the navy blue jersey base. And the big one for me, they should have had a white outline around their logo this time to help add some much needed contrast. That would have been a huge improvement, a small detail that in my opinion would have made all of the difference. But yeah, so I've covered the NFL and my thoughts on the on these stupid monochrome uniforms and I gave the Saints a much needed rant. I'm sick of their home end away uniforms. They need to go back to their retro uniforms. Everybody loves their Color Rush uniforms. They wear them three times a year now because everybody and their dog knows that they're gorgeous. They know the Saints hear enough feedback from their fans, I'm sure. They know the fans love that uniform. Go back. What the hell are you waiting for, New Orleans? Jesus Christ. You're cur we're all sick of your black leotard look. I'm sick and, and by the way, that's another thing I want to vent on. I'm tired of seeing fan comments on places like Twitter that are saying, oh, the monochrome black is awesome. It's not. It's garbage. Like, I don't understand how anybody can find that cool. It sucks. Keep that crap in college football at the most. Stop bringing that type of garbage to the NFL. The Saints need to go retro. I am so sick of their current uniforms. Their, their throwbacks are way better. I love their color rush jersey. I don't even, you know, if they could just wear contrasting socks, Jesus Christ, that would, uniform would be perfect. Imagine it with gold pants and contrasting socks. Pfft, my God.
Would that not be wonderful or what? And yeah, the monochrome uniforms in the NFL, it's getting to be way out of hand. I'm tired of seeing teams like the Ravens and recently the Vikings in monochrome purple. I'm tired of monochrome red. Buffalo and Kansas City, I'm talking to you. Specifically. Or especially. Dear Buffalo Bills. Dear Indianapolis Colts. Stop wearing monochrome royal blue. It's not a good look. It's not. I'm tired. I am tired of monochrome color uniforms in the NFL. Now the thing that was nice about the color rush was that you did get to see color versus color games. But what I liked about Thursday nights being color rush nights is that you knew what you were getting every week. I'm tired of tuning into Sunday games and randomly seeing monochrome red color rush uniforms from the Bills. If it's on Thursday night, at least you know what you're getting. And if teams could just wear contrasting pants, why not put the whole color rush thing back on Thursdays and get give us fans a rare treat with color versus color games on Thursday nights? I mean, I think that would be awesome. But anyways, or at least awesome once in a blue moon. I mean, it's nice when teams wear regular uniforms. But, you know, if they do a color versus color game once every odd Thursday or something, I think it would be a nice treat, to be honest. I did. I do like color versus color when it's done once in a while. All the time, hell no. I am not in favor of that. But for one game, maybe every month or something... I think it'd actually be cool to see. That's something that I did like about the Color Rush before, when it was on Thursday nights. It gave us something different. But when you're having monochromatic morph suit uniforms against each other, sorry, that I have never liked. But the idea of seeing, like, say, for example, um, I don't know, uh, just trying to think of a good example. What about, say... The Tennessee Titans in powder blue with their navy blue pants versus maybe the Carolina Panthers in black. The contrast would be there where, you know, as much as the Titans uniform suck, the color versus color combo would be cool. You could have, for example, the Rams in with their yellow jerseys with navy blue pants playing a team like, say, I don't know. Um, the Indianapolis Colts wearing royal blue with proper white pants. That would be a really nice color matchup. You could even do, I don't know, the Jaguars in teal versus, let's say, the Panthers in black. That would actually be a really nice contrasting matchup. Or even the Dallas Cowboys in navy blue. Navy blue versus bright teal for a color versus color game once in a blue moon. I think that actually could work. Now, all the time, no. I want to see teams wearing white versus color. Or if a team has a specific color that's the equivalent of a white uniform in terms of its brightness, like bright yellow, as an away uniform against a colored uniform, if they contrast enough, okay. But, you know... The color versus color thing, once in a blue moon, I actually think is nice to see. I mean, do I want to see it all the time? No. But when it was happening on Thursday night games, when the color rush was a Thursday night only thing, you know, besides the one piece morph suits, the jersey, one color of jersey versus another, like the Chargers in royal blue versus the Broncos in orange, is actually really nice to see. It's just when the Broncos are in bright orange prison jumpsuits and the Chargers or a bunch of royal blue Power Rangers. That part I don't like. But anyways, you guys, I've been talking for almost 40 minutes now. This is almost as long as my last one. So I'm sorry for the length of the video, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I will call it a wrap now. And until my next video, take care. And of course, as always, bye for now.